Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Dreams Framed and today again I am taking you to the world's biggest and boldest ship which is Wonder of the Seas by Royal Caribbean and today I will talk about what to wear in this ship. What to wear in this cruise vary upon activity, time of the day, venue and so on but it majorly depends upon the time of the day. So for packing your suitcase, you need to think about daytime and evening time dress code. Daytime is more of a laid back lounging, whereas evening wear is more about formal night, white night, Caribbean night, dress your best and so on. So let me start with the more interesting one which is evening dress code. As they rightly say in their app, Think of this as a step up from your typical dinner wear and the idea here is you are dressing up for night out. So follow the theme, dress your best, get the picture clicked in their professional photography spots, go for dinner, enjoy the show, join the events and keep the night going. They are extremely well planned in that and they provide the detailed list of dress codes seven days in advance of sailing, which can be found in their Royal Caribbean app in daily planner section. This gives enough time for packing. So let me show you what I wore in the cruise. We had seven nights in the cruise and we got dress code for four out of seven nights. Formal night, white night, Caribbean night, dress your best and the rest of the nights were relaxed and it was absolutely eye-pleasing to see the people were so enthusiastic to dress up and enjoy the evening and it creates a very lively environment. Let me show you what I wore. So the very first night was relaxed night and I wore a black pant and green top. Mostly other people were in smart casuals. Second night was the highlight of all the night which was formal night. Most of the men were in tuxedos and ladies wore pretty gowns and dresses. I wore this red dress and got many compliments for the same. Few of my best pictures are in this dress. The third night was white night and I chose to wear white pants with black shirt. Mostly ladies wore white dresses and men wore white shirt or white t-shirt. Fourth night was Caribbean night. I was not very sure about Caribbean dressing so I wore a cotton coat set. But my husband was more on point with dress code of this night. He wore a floral polo shirt. Most of the ladies wore floral print dresses. Fifth night was relax night and I wore a yellow play suit. Sixth night was dress your best night. It was quite similar to the formal night but the energy among people was not as high as earlier formal night. I wore this beige tulle dress. Seventh night was relaxed night still people did show the effort to dress up as few people were still interested to get their pictures clicked i wore this bodycon pink dress before i move to daytime dress code let me tell you about their photography spots they put up many spots mostly towards the entrance of dining rooms with backdrops and professional photographers and after dressing up, people get clicked on these spots. And among all the activities in the ship, this was one of the highlights and mostly everyone participates in it. This was not complimentary and you have to buy the photograph package. But the good news is the packages are quite reasonable. We got 100 digital prints within $200. Towards the end of your trip, go to their gallery section and check your pictures, select the ones you like and you can download it using the internal Wi-Fi. Coming to the daytime, it's very casual. People are in flip-flops, shorts, jeans and so on. 
I wore jumpsuit, shorts, play suits, swim cover up during the daytime. One thing to note here is they do not allow swimwear in any of their dining or buffet, which means you cannot step into a restaurant even during lunchtime in bikini. You need to change to dry clothes and then go to the restaurant. With this, we have reached towards the end of the video. Do let me know if you have any other questions. See you soon in my next video. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy.